about having a da daily driver that's the same as the race car like i can bring this oh, one down because it's a little bit cleaner than the, than the race car oh yeah this is the race i'm just briefing it to see what i need to um to see what we should spray so like, if there's any shiny bits this doesn't pick up then we'll um oh, ah yeah. yeah cool i like it cool. the boys at aerocut are doing a skid plate for the race car so that's why it's as I said earlier, it's good having the daily as a clean, a little bit cleaner one, but it's not as clean. I apologise, guys. I wish it was a bit cleaner underneath. Things fucking filthy. <laughs> <Not working. laughs> no, filthy. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, I'm too short to walk under it. I need a hoist. Your music test is really great, Alex. Ready, mate. Alex, how come it doesn't show up all the mud on the scan? Well, it shows up my face here a little bit, so... <laughs> He does often get his face yeah. in scans. Yeah, it's all right. Makes it hard to work with. Yeah. There you go, that's everything. The mud's really good. We'll just pretend it's beneficial. Yeah. There we go. So that's going to just generate, it's, a, it's generating point clouds. So like as I'm scanning, uh, it'll take like a thousand different scans at a time. Oh, and okay. now it's just going to put them together, put the familiar spots together, which that's is why. Nice. Funnily enough, why it's dirty is actually good because it'll find bits of dirt like this <laughs> and find it in all the different scans I've done and put it all together. Well, you're welcome. So, yeah, thanks. <laughs> So this time I've actually got the race car instead of my daily, so hopefully it's not as dirty underneath and Alex doesn't yell at me as much this time. <laughs> it might be dirtier, but I tried. I at least tried this time. It's definitely a lot cleaner than my other one underneath. Not too bad considering it's actually... Yeah, this one's actually the rally car where the other was the daily, which was even more filthy. Like front, this is a three mil stainless bracket. Yeah. This just sort of like firstly spreads the load, but also allows us to mount the bash plate in like a more uniform manner rather than right. having to like do some weird folds to the plate. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes like so this just stays in the vehicle. Yeah. The bash plate come off the car a bit easier. So these are the brackets, the mount brackets that actually stay on the car when you take the skid plate on and off. So that way it's nice and simple. So how many bolts is that? Like six bolts to put the skid plate on after So four that? for the skid plate, two mounting to the chassis, and these, this is two bolts chassis, two bolts skid plate, and I get the same for the rear. Awesome. One more for the transmission plate, so. Ah, cool. Sit up there. The advantage of how we do it with the brackets too. Yeah. So the advantage is now, like I can just have the, I'll take it off for you just so you get an idea of how it goes on and comes off. Yeah. It's so like, I've just slipped the rear in there, yeah. That, like you can't come out. That's good. With the slots. Yeah. Even when you are like if you hit something going forwards. Yeah. Like that'll just slip in there, hard way stays in there. So you're not taking all four all four bolts out yeah, every exactly. time you just loosen the back ones off. That's right. It saves That's you cool. having to do like we've done a service plate on this car, but it saves you having to do any like removable plates to be able to yeah. look at or service the gearbox. It's just it... It's very shiny. The bracing around there, that's cool. It's yeah, awesome. Cool. Yeah. About to bolt up the bracing on the other side. It's cool. Yeah. Alex, this skid plate looks so cool. Solid, I, lo man. I love it. <laughs>